Well, the dream that I had for this exhibition was to have pools of color because I work in palettes of color. And so we got a wonderful opera designer to come in and give us the opera of color that we were after. Cave said to me, I don't want a story of my life here. I just want an expression of my love for color. So we, we created spaces where each space has a sort of color theme and it was all worked out. We had a model box and everything was planned. And I, I couldn't believe that the actual things in the model box were gonna come out the way they have, but it is better than I thought. Well, the first part, his sort of studio, uh, is my sort of, what my impression of when you go to his house. He says his studio doesn't look like that, but in fact, his whole house looks like that. <laughs> my studio is a complete mess. But what Johan loved was that I had all the fabrics out, all the yarns out in big baskets, and I had cutting tables and painting tables, and he saw all of that. And so he did, this, you know, like a, a little miniature of all that activity. One of the big characters in the production of this particular show is Rosie Wilkes, who came up and organized an army of people. So we, we've had that wonderful, uh, spontaneous, creative creature with her magenta hair, you know, creating all these wonderful things. Well, as a long time Kay Fassett fan, been, I've been um, to many events that he's been at. And I knew a lady who volunteered up here and she, she put me in touch with, with um, the curator, Laura. And I came up for lunch and as I arrived here, they were giving me jobs left, right and centre. I love exhibition for me starts before you even enter the exhibition. I think it's an experience. So the tree idea came and then the banners and then they started doing the lampers. Uh, you know, they, we couldn't stop them. They were great. They did the most beautiful work. What I want more than anything else when people walk in here is to say, oh, God, this is exciting. We have the richest, most pungent pools of color, but we also have gray and neutral. And that's a very important aspect of my work. I love neutrals and quiet colors. And there's beautiful husky browns, and there's all these worlds. And then there's the beautiful, cool green glade of a garden in the last room, you know, the green room. So I want them to, to emerge from here feeling, I could use color. I could, I could add color to my life. It's this absolute joy that people have when they, when they walk in, not only because they see Cave's extraordinary work, over the years, but his use of colour. I mean, there's so many people who are just afraid to use colour, but people have an innate uh, instinct to be a little bit outrageous sometimes. I think there's going to be hundreds and thousands of visitors, and I think they're all going to be really, really enlivened by the amount of colour used, and hopefully they'll take inspiration away and they'll want to go home and make things and do things and just, just be more bright and colourful themselves. It's what museums should be for, to uh, shake us up and realise it's party time. You know, it's going to be, we're going to have an experience.